Hi there, my name is David Batsoffen and I'm chatting today to the owner and manager of the Limpopo Field Guiding Academy, that's Mark Stavrakis. Mark, how are you doing? Hi David, very good. How are you doing today? Very well, thanks. Tell us a little bit about uh, the Limpopo Academy, what it is you do and how you do it. David, uh, we are a Fagasta Indoors training provider, uh, and basically we offer field guide courses. Uh, we've been operating since 2003, and uh, basically it's, it's to do with the national qualification systems in, in Southern Africa. Uh, courses are, are held on site when we're not in lockdown and things like that. At the moment, we've got online courses as well. So yeah, that's what we do. We, we offer courses that qualify uh, field guides, trackers, and, and similar types of, of people in the industry. Mark, I believe that your academy is about to make history. It is. Uh, we, we're very fortunate to, to have uh, Pioneer Moyo with us in, in, in the academy. And uh, he's about to become uh, an assessor with, with Fagasa, and uh, I think you would be uh, best placed to, to, to introduce what, what's so special about that, but uh, I'm, I'm happy to, to, to add into that as well if you want. All right, well tell me a bit what makes that so special and what makes Pioneer so special? All right, Pioneer is uh, from Zimbabwe, and um, the, the special part about it is that uh, this will be the first uh, black African uh, assessor within the Fogasa system. Um, we go a little bit further back um, with, with Pines than, than just the current moment now. Uh, Pioneer did the level one qualification with us in 2007, 2008, around about there. Uh, he had just come uh, from, from Zimbabwe and uh, had a little bit of uh, experience in the industry up there, uh, but Having started the Fagasa Level 1, it was called Level 1 in those days, now the Apprentice Field Guide qualification, uh, he started off his career then. Uh, it's quite a long journey that he's been on since then, and we've, we've been involved in it uh, on and off. Uh, for the past five years, uh, Pines has been actually employed by, you know, in our company as well. So uh, it's, it's been a long road with many challenges, but at the end of the day, uh, we're about to as you say, make history in terms of, of Pines getting there, you know, right to the top of the, uh, the guiding system in, in, in Southern Africa and, and in fact becoming an assessor, a national qualification assessor. Which is not easy. It would be nice if I could, is he anywhere close by? It would be nice if I could chat to him. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I don't need to be telling you about it. Pines is right here and he can tell you all about it himself. Great stuff. So, Mark, if I could ask you to step out, and Pioneer, if I could ask you to step into um, the, the hot seat, so to speak. There we go. This is Pines. Pioneer Moyo. So, this is Pioneer Moyo. Pioneer, welcome. Thanks so much for talking to me. Uh, thanks to you. Thanks so much. Nice to meet you. Pioneer, this must be a whole different um, set up for you. I know that you've been training at the academy, but all of a sudden you've now got to do online um, lectures. Is that very different for you? Uh, not really different. It's something that I've been like doing for, for, for a while now. So I'm used to do the lecture. So it's not like really different. Unfortunately, it's only like difficult, difficult times now with, uh, with the pandemic now. But what can we do? Yeah, this, this is the thing. We have to make the best of a bad situation. But that's not what I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about this qualification that's coming up as an assessor. Tell me a bit about your journey to get to this point and what it means to you. Oh, yes, that's correct. Um, something that I didn't like, really think about I didn't think I'm gonna come up to this point, but um, as I say, it's more about passion and then also people that are bit up in the industry. And then as I started with uh, level one, when I joined up with the FACASA, become FACASA member in 2007, and then I didn't think I'm gonna go up to this, this part, but 
meeting people that have been in the, in the industry for a long time. And then, you know, you always think like, okay, can I do something else? Can I develop myself? And then you learn and then you develop meeting different people. Then you end up like where I am now, but it definitely wasn't like a, a easy thing. What are, you, what are you going to be an assessor in? What, what is your, um, your skills qualification now? All right, the skills qualification for now, uh, I've done my assessor course, so I'll be uh, assessing the nature guiding, apprentice nature guiding. Yeah. Uh, and then beside that also, I'm um, under the mentorship for assessing uh, tracking sign assessment lower bend. So I'm going under different mentorship. I've been with Mark, I've been with the Adrian Law, um, I've been also different places in Glanspeck with the Bennett Clerk, with Mitsumi Academy. So I'm going under mentorship also to do track and sign assessment lower bend and then also Fakasa Nature Guiding, the apprentice course. And also, um, I've wrote recently my escape betting theory. I'm waiting for my exam, but I think I'm positive. I, I met it. It's been a month now. I'm still waiting for my for my results. I mean, escape birding is not an easy qualification. Um, I look at some <laughs> of those birds, and I can see them. I have those little brown jobs, uh, pioneer. Get me every time. That and pipits and locks. Pipits to me. Are like penguins. I don't understand them. I don't think they should be around. <laughs> <laughs> You're correct. That's the first thing that on my career when I was like, oh, you know what, birds. I don't know, like these small birds are gonna be able to identify them. But you know, we are out in the field. You have got different people. If I give an example, like Mark or uh, Cameroon peers, um, You've got Marcy, Roberti, and then these guys, they see the birds or they hear the birds, they're like, oh, do you hear that bird? And then always take out my mind, how did they get there? And then it forces me like, okay, you know what? If other people, they make it, why not me? Exactly. But, and, and yeah. it must be very exciting for you, because um, I, I know, firstly, I have a great deal of respect for birders because they have a lot of patience. I don't have it's that. You sit for hours and hours waiting for a bird to call or for something to appear on a blade of grass. Mm -mm, I've walked on, I've gone elsewhere. So hats off <laughs> to you for that one. But do you have a favorite bird? Um, yes, I've got a favorite bird. And it is? Um, white trotted robin chart. Okay, and why? You know, I still remember we were having, we were training at Loscop Dam. And then there's one, one of the afternoon, we were with Janesta, Janesta Pulela. And then we hear this bird calling. So it's the last call of, uh, of, of that bird. The last call just goes, trip, trip. We didn't know what bird it was. It was like a normal call. So I have to snitch through the bushes and then I find that was a white throated dropping chart. And then from me, from there, I like, you know what? I like this bird. Um, Pioneer, we seem to have lost the video um, aspect. All of a sudden, I'm just seeing LG, LFGA admin and your camera seems to have switched off. And I'm wondering if either you or Mark could just reset the camera for me, please so that we can continue okay. our chat. Um, in okay. the meantime, for those of you who have uh, just stepped into this video, I'm talking with Pioneer Moyo at uh, the Limpopo Field Guiding Academy, uh, together with Mark Stavrakis, who is the owner and manager of that particular property. There they are. Mark looking suitably severe. That's what happens. Uh, thanks, Mark. I don't know what, ha what happened, but we could still hear Pioneer, so don't worry about that. We will just continue um, uh, because uh, the audio was there. So you can still step out, uh, go and hide there. Thank you very much. Pioneer, thanks very much for that on the Robin chat. Um, do you yes. have any other birds that you are still keen to, to add to your life list? Um, yes, I've got another bird uh, that is a 
little cream, dip mm -hmm. chick, the old name, uh, okay. dip chick. Yeah, I've got also like a really interest on in that bird. Yeah, the dab chicks um, are, re are really weird to watch because they can motor around a dam. They, you know, they, they're small, but they're fast. <laughs> they really and truly are. Um, yeah. Pioneer, for people like yourself, or maybe in a position that you were back in 2007 when you started yes. your career in, in wildlife, what words of, of um, uh, encouragement would you have for them? Okay. Uh, for me, uh, like with this journey of guiding, I, I, I've learned so much that uh, respect is one of the things, right? right? Respect other people doesn't matter like uh, the age, race, or any sex. And also, be someone who's keen to learn be willing to learn because you know what you can learn from anyone anybody anyway yeah. so i've really have learned a lot even to the guests when i was still like uh, working uh, in the game reserve even from the student when i've been like uh, involved with the student so you never stop learning so be a person that is willing to learn and then that's the only time you you have to grow because the time if you don't want to learn and then you put yourself like a boundary, you're going to be like in a cage, in a hole, because you say, okay, I know everything. So if you say you know everything, no, no one is going to like tell you anything because you have put the boundary around you. So be a person that is willing to learn. Share your idea with other people and then you grow. And then meet also different people. And be out of comfort zone with different people and then you learn from them. Great stuff. Pioneer, I wish you all the very, very best going forward and um, good luck with those SKS results. I, I'm waiting. I'm now holding my breath for you and I'm hoping that as soon as they arrive, you will let me know that, uh, that you've passed. Um, could we ask Mark to step back in and um, I'll, okay. I'll, in fact, if you just shift sideways, don't leave. Just shift sideways okay. and let Mark step in and we can wrap this up. Okay. Mark, where are you? There you go. Pioneer, step back in. So he, so there we go. Um, Mark, uh, as, as Pioneer was saying, history about to be made. He's got SKS birding results still to come. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that there's going to be a big party once these results come in and he is named the first assessor um, of his genre, let's put it that way, uh, for Fagasa. David, we're going to have a, a massive party, um, probably with masks on and, and two meter distance and all of that thing. Apparently no alcohol or smokes allowed, but uh, we're going to party. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Great stuff. Mark, uh, just to wrap up, if people at this particular point um, want to to start doing your online courses to get their technical well their technical rather than their practical skills up to date. How do they find out about you? Uh, if if they could please uh, email Linky on info at limpopotraining.co.za, and that's to sign up for the Fagasa Apprentice Field Guide Theory component. And uh, we're we're open for business. They can sign up right away. Great stuff. Mark, Pioneer, thank you so much for joining me. Wish you, Pioneer, all the very best. Mark, at some particular point in the hopefully not too distant future, I'll actually get to come and spend some time with you and interview you guys in person. David, you'll be very welcome. And thanks so much for the time today. We appreciate it. Thanks, Pioneer. Thanks, Cheers. Thanks, Take David, care. for the time. Thanks so much. Cheers. Bye for now.